In the bustling city of Rotterdam, amidst the vibrant discussions of the Twin State World Energy Congress, a momentous agreement was forged between Nuclear Power Ghana Limited and China National Nuclear Corporation Overseas Limited. This agreement, signed on the margins of the Congress, held a new chapter in Ghana's quest for energy independence and sustainability. At the heart of this agreement lies the construction of the HPR 1000 Technology Nuclear Power Project, coupled with the upgrade of Ghana's great infrastructure. This ambitious endeavor comes on the heels of cabinet approval for the inclusion of nuclear energy in Ghana's energy mix, signaling a strategic shift towards a diversification and long-term planning in the energy sector. Ghana's foray into nuclear energy dates back to 2008, when the nation rejuvenated its nuclear program in response to surging energy demands, bolstered by support from the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, in a wave of international interest. Ghana embarked on a journey to harness the power of nuclear energy to fuel its development agenda. The United States and Russia complete with China. France and South Korea to construct Ghana's inaugural nuclear power plant. The West African nation joined several others on the continent in considering nuclear energy as a low carbon alternative to fulfill its electricity needs. Ghana's decision to install nuclear power plants is part of a strategy to diversify its energy sources, which currently include hydro, thermal, and renewable energy. The winner of the ongoing bidding process will be announced at the end of 2024 by ongoing President Nana Akufu Addo. Stephen Yamwa, Executive Director of Nuclear Power Plant, told Semar for Africa. The target to build a plant by 2030 will be missed because the country still haven't settled on a vendor, Yamwa told Semar for Africa, adding that construction, which is expected to last five years, is due to begin in 2026. South Africa currently holds the sole nuclear power plant on the African continent, yet countries like Uganda, Rwanda, and Kenya have recently unveiled intentions to venture into nuclear energy development. In 2015, Ghana outlined its nuclear ambitions, aiming to inaugurate its first commercial nuclear power facility by 2030. According to Ghana's energy ministry, Electricity demand has surged by 7% to 10% annually since 2010, while as of 2020, approximately 85% of the population had access to electricity. Ghana now faces the decision of selecting among various options, including large-scale nuclear power plants and small modular reactors as it moves forward with its nuclear energy plants. The partnership with China a country with rich legacy of nuclear expertise and a steadfast ally in Ghana's developmental journey underscores the mutual diplomatic ties and shared commitment to progress. Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe, Ghana's energy minister, lauded the agreement as a pivotal moment in the nation's energy landscape, emphasizing its role in driving sustainable development and meeting the burgeoning electricity needs of the country. Central to Dr. Opoku Prempe's vision is the recognition of nuclear power as a reliable, efficient, and environmentally friendly source of energy, with its ability to provide a stable supply of electricity to power industries, businesses, and homes. Nuclear energy emerges as a cornerstone of Ghana's energy portfolio. President Akufu adds on wavering support for a diversified energy mix prioritizing clean and sustainable sources of energy and has called the government's commitment to a greener future. Mr. Yu Jinping, president of CNNC, echoed Dr. Opoku Prempe's sentiment, commending the minister's leadership and expressing confidence in the fruitful outcomes of the agreement. The synergy between Ghana and CNNC, followed by a shared vision for progress and innovation, sets the stage for a transformative partnership that will shape the energy landscape for generations to come. Although South Africa currently holds the continent's two commercial nuclear power plants, a significant number of African countries are contemplating the adoption of a nuclear energy. According to the International Atomic Energy Agency, 
Nearly one third of the nearly 30 nations worldwide considering nuclear power plants are located in Africa. Countries such as Ghana, Kenya, Egypt, Morocco, Niger, Nigeria and Sudan have initiated discussions with the IAEA to evaluate their readiness for nuclear energy programs. Additionally, Algeria, Tunisia, Uganda and Zambia are also contemplating the possibility of nuclear power adoption as reported by the agency. Notably, several sub-Saharan African nations have entered into agreement to explore the deployment of nuclear power with support from Russia. These agreements confirmed through public announcements and documented by the World Nuclear Association underscore the continent's growing interest in diversifying its energy sources. As Ghana embarks on this ambitious nuclear journey, the government remains steadfast in its support for the Ghana nuclear power program. Through active participation, funding, and contributions, the government reaffirms its commitment to realizing the goals of the program housed within the power directorate at the Ministry of Energy. In conclusion, Ghana's pursuit of nuclear energy represents a bold step towards sustainable development and energy security. With the signing of the Cooperation and Framework Agreement, Ghana charts a course towards a future powered by clean, reliable, and efficient nuclear energy, laying the foundation for a brighter tomorrow. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.